Hello everyone. Yes, another video about uh, my painting. And today we are going through a poor painting that I've been doing kind of in the beginnings of my trials of art and so on. This painting is called Soul and it's only poor painting meaning that I didn't add any other kind of techniques um, I just poured a painting into the canva <laughs> as simple as that um, as you see this is quite a small painting it's about uh, 20 on 20 centimeters and I varnished it with um, spray gloss um, spray gloss yes uh, a spray gloss and uh, for several days to be sure that there was enough gloss to protect the painting and I want actually to explain you how I do my pour painting uh, I will not really show any videos about pouring right now <laughs> my material is a bit um, obsolete for that and what I do for um, pour painting is I prepare different colors and these colors have some proportions of paint, water and medium. I have with me um, one example of medium uh, that I use with my paints and um, this is this one this is a um, Windsor Newton gloss medium and using this paint uh, this medium for paints I mix it with the paint in a half and half um, half and half uh, proportions for example I put 10 grams of paints and 10 grams of medium. I mixed well together all these colors and to each uh, mixture of one color and one medium I added um, the same quantity of water like I put one third of paint, one third of medium and one third of water. I mix them well and I pay attention that there is not too much air bubbles and for this painting specifically what I did added is um, some silicone uh, because silicones uh, silicones <laughs> silicone will help you to actually create what we call cells and by cells I will show some of them here you see different cells um, so silicone reacts uh, with the paint and it actually makes this kind of repellent uh, action to the paint which star starts to repel itself and to form all these cells that you see here around and these cells that you can create while you pour your paint uh, you can uh, accelerate uh, the cell formation using torches torches and fire <laughs> just to heat up uh, what you have and for pouring I will show some of my little um, materials that I used uh, for pouring so this video <laughs> there this video is mostly explaining the painting how I feel about it and also how I pour things so what I basically use are all these little these little um, buckets what do we say buckets <laughs> we don't really buckets but it's these little pots uh, it's about 20 30 millimeters of pots and I fill these with the paint the water and the mediums that I mixed in it uh, with some wood stick and before uh, I start to take these ones into a bigger pot um, I add the, the silicone 
and depending on how much silicone you put um, you will get more or less uh, cells with your painting for example if you put only one cells you might um, one drop of silicone you might not get so much cells because the drop of silicone must break down somehow in your paint um, if you put one drop of silicones and you mixed not that much you will probably don't have many cells at all but if you put one cell uh, one drop of silicone and you mix a little bit more than, than usual then you might break down the silicone drops and it might create several cells and of course if you add more drops of silicone and you mixed very well <laughs> You will have a lot of cells and there is one of my paintings that has this amount of cells actually because i didn't really put a lot of silicones but finally it really gave some give something interesting so i use these little pots there and you mix them and you kind of uh, just um, gather them into a bigger pot bigger goblet a bigger um, glass or whatever so for example you can take these two pots there you fill them with some colors and in the main pot that is bigger of course let's take this one there you put for example a little bit of one of the color here take out you put a little bit of the second color out you put the first color you just decide how much of these colors you add up together and in what type of layers you want uh, because once you have this filled with different colors uh, with paints that are uh, quite liquid uh, honey liquid honey like liquid um, then when you pour them onto your painting what you will get is uh, mixtures of these colors a mixtures and also a gradation of these colors and for example that painting uh, although i don't really remember <laughs> I think I use some turquoise, uh, some purple turquoise, white and black, uh, which gives these nice um, gradations between purples and blues. And you see some blackish uh, color here, uh, from the black color, and here this light blue was created by the white, um, the white paint. So if you put white paint, paint or black paint, and you put somehow a lot of silicone or your pouring on the on the painting is very wild you will probably not keep any of the original color but you will create new colors and this is what happened with this painting i really love it because um, it has a really nice hue of, of of violets of blue of light blue and dark blue and um, and so on and if, for example in this place here all this place you see very dark purples and here you see a little bit more of light pur light purples and you see all the cells also have this kind of gradation these cells for example they have dark blue and go to light blue all around it a little, little bit of purples so pouring um, is very relaxing uh, painting technique it's also very easy once you know the, the science behind it the proportions the math then doing it is very 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 comfy and um, the only issue with pouring is that you need uh, absolutely to protect uh, your your studio or the zone where you paint usually and what i do to protect uh, my zone is that i use this uh, this is some kind of silicone this one is a silicone to make a pasta dough and <laughs> things like that but this is silicone and um, so what you do is that you take this painting at least a canvas that is uh, blank or that you have treated with some gesso i recommend to treat some gesso so we have a really smooth uh, face and uh, so you put the canvas on this silicone then you pour your painting on this on this canvas and all the excess painting goes to the silicone and because it is silicone well it's easy to, to remove later on i have been experiencing uh, with most of my pouring 
I did only four per ring I bought. And uh, usually I wait four or five days uh, for the painting to, to dry. And about the same amount uh, for the silicone uh, to, to dry as well. I mean the paint on the silicone to dry. It's very, it's very satisfying to take out all, all this dried paint from the silicone. And a lot of a lot of artists uh, who do YouTube, they will tell you the same. It's very satisfying because you can do whatever you want with the with the excess paint uh, that is sitting on the silicone. So, yeah, pour is very nice. Uh, it's just chemistry, water, paint, uh, uh, medium. You make several colors as much as you want or as much as your imagination want to go and also about painting the mixing of these colors later on then you pour them into a bigger pot the way you want uh, you put a bit more of this a bit more of that uh, it's really random then when you pour it uh, this one is just a normal pour um, but when you pour it you can use different uh, different um, tools uh, i use for example a pasta um, this kind of pasta sieve, you know, uh, and it really worked well. Um, or use some kind of special pots and so on. It, it's really fun to do. Um, and yeah, this is pretty nice results of um, this poor painting. Uh, so as I said, it is called Soul and it's 20 on 20. Um, this paint makes me feel very comfortable. Uh, it really soothed me a lot looking at this painting. Um, just because at first it's very soft, uh, at the touch it's very soft, very clean. Uh, there is no grooves, uh, there is no sharp or roughness uh, in the painting. And when, when you go here, when you go through it, it's very nice and very smooth. And um, second thing about this painting is that um, it's just mesmerizing when you look at it. And a third reason, it's more personal reason, uh, it makes me think about someone, uh, someone that is dear to me. I will not go into too much detail right now about what I mean, but um, this color blue uh, makes me think also of sapphire, of stones. Um, marbles and things like that and uh, it looks like kind of a stone a special stone of special colors and so on and <laughs> i would like to dedicate this this painting to this person in particular but i think this person really recognize herself um so yeah pouring uh i wanted also to show you wanted to show you the um, silicone i'm using uh, here, this is a silicone I am using. Uh, what is the brand? This is Pent Art, silicone oil. I bought it in Germany uh, when I visited uh, Germany. And uh, it's not too easy to find in smaller art shop, uh, but it's possible to find them uh, by yourself. Probably you can order online as well, but um, I did find it by hand in Germany, which was very cool. Uh, I got a lot of help from workers in Germany to, to find this kind of stuff. And, um, and so what is very special with uh, poor painting is, uh, like I said, it's the randomness. You don't know what you will get. You can use whatever tools you want. It will always be different. Always. You can do the same proportion of paints, the same color, the same distribution into the bigger uh, recipient and um, and you can pour it the very same way and so on but it will always give something different because this is so random and when you do that for example you can do so much things uh, when you pour it in you can also tilt your painting you can distribute the paint uh, by yourself or let the paint just drop by itself for this painting, for example, I just pour in center and I started like to, to take this this painting and I started to move it like a bit like this to let the paint go down, a little bit like that to let the paint go on the left or like that to go on the right and so on. 
I'm trying to feel to feel everything there as you can see I try to feel everything like um, these borders as well and I try to feel as much as I can so because it looks lovely when when you when you feel the borders because when you are walking into a room you can check out and, and see that um, this painting is full it's not like lacking everything there's some working like with fingers there it's a, it's a work of fingers because <laughs> sometimes it doesn't go so well so you have to kind of pass a brush or a finger to help it uh, stays on the canvas so yeah um, this was it uh, uh, nothing more to say uh, yes I sell it <laughs> well at least right now I uh, don't know when it will be sold but today January 2021 it's still being sold and I'm waiting to to have someone who is interested by it uh, so this is called soul 20 by 20 centimeter on stretch canva using uh, Winsor and Newton paintings and the music of tonight is some Beethoven and unlike my previous video <laughs> I hope the music didn't went too high this time it's just a nice background sound and on this um, I'm gonna leave and wish you all a very lovely evening and take care of you and stay safe and and if you are an artist or a musician or a scientist like me do the best you can do don't overwhelm but do the best you can do and with these nice words I say you bye bye and have a nice day or evening Ciao, ciao.